I'll be presenting along with Bradley Newman and Brian Heflin on our production process. Uh, first, the presentation outline will go over the problem statement, uh, method selection and evaluation criteria, then introduce the process, provide some technical background, discuss our process flow diagram along with ChemCAD modeling, and a conclusion of where we're at currently. So our problem statement is we are trying to develop a plant process to convert switchgrass feedstock into a nearly pure ethanol product. This project is supervised by Dr. Jim Henry and Assistant Manager Charles Sanford. And we will be presenting our final report to the Board of Directors on April 25th. And this report will include process flow diagrams, equipment design, economic analysis, and unit optimization. For our process, we had to have some evaluation criteria when we were first given the project. We uh, just had a general statement of uh, just convert material into an ethanol or methanol product. So we had to first of all decide which biomass we would convert into a product. And we had, so had three options. We had a corn. A corn biomass, recycled paper, or switchgrass. And here is just an example of the matrix we used. Some of the um, some of the criteria we looked at were the the, the ease to grow, availability, cost, amount of product we can make, um, how the environmental impacts, and the ability to grow in different climates. And we also had to uh, determine how our process would uh, how our process would go through thermochemical and supercritical steam and gasification. Um, this is a decision matrix for this and some of our options include a thermochemical gasification, a fissure trough gasification, acid catalyzed hydrolysis, enzymatic hydrolysis, and steam explosion. And some of the criteria for that include the unit complexity, energy requirements, product yield, reaction time and the availability of materials. And then finally, we had to decide uh, what our final product would be, if that would be an ethanol or methanol solution. And some of the criteria we used to evaluate that were energy content, uh, health and safety factors, current use of the industry, and the production cost. I'll let Bradley talk about technical parts of our project. OK, so after going over some decision uh, criteria, discuss some of the process introduction, just coming to a background about it. Um, first off, uh, our process is kind of categorized in thermochemical route of converting biomass as opposed to the more conventional method of using hydrolysis to break down the uh, polysaturized found in biomass. Um, our process consists of a uh, gasification to produce a syngas or producer gas, which is rich in H2 and carbon monoxide, and then using the, uh, fermenting that gas into ethanol. Uh, and so to touch on the stoichiometry, first the gasification reaction involves uh, an idealized uh, composition of several reactions, combustion reactions, uh, endothermic uh, uh, pyrolysis reactions, and reduction reactions. Up there is the main reaction for our stage. You see it's combined with water, in which we're using supercritical steam as a fluidizing medium uh, to produce our product, desired product, syngas of CO and H2, the byproduct of CO2. Next, for the fermentation reaction, we have... Uh, CO plus 6H2, and then producing our, uh, uh, this will also be in the presence of a biocatalyst to uh, produce fermentation, and then our ultimate product is ethanol. To put that into perspective, the main aim here is to, the successful conversion of our biomass, our solid biomass, which is our switchgrass we decided on, to a higher heating value of liquid fuel ethanol. Uh, to then, I like to now break it down each main stage into uh, uh, the technical background to provide a technical background about each stage and uh, how we came about choosing it. First off, uh, we're using a steam fluidized dead gas fire. Uh, we, this came because in our research through because uh, ultimately the, the steam, provide, the fluidized bed provides a temperature uniformity and higher increased mass transfer. And uh, some of the technical specifications that dictate uh, our uh, mass balances here and energy balances, uh, one, the consumption rate can be found using the gas output we require. Uh, multiplied by the uh, lower heating value of the gas, our gas product, and then over the efficiency of the gas fire, which most uh, gas fires come in the range of 60 to 70 percent, 
and multiply that by the lower heating value of the feedstock used, which is switchgrass. Uh, of course, enormously important, again, if we're using air, uh, equivalent air mixture with steam, the equivalence ratio is a stoichiometric air to biomass ratio over the actual. Uh, next specification is, a, is really important as well is our supercritical steam to biomass ratio, which is essentially the, the mass feed of the steam over the biomass. Uh, the next uh, pro uh, main process stage is uh, fermentation, which involves an anaerobic microbial catalyst. I won't even begin to try to pronounce that one, but uh, that'll be used as our microbial catalyst. Um, there are several benefits to using the uh, microbial catalyst uh, in a bubble bubble uh, sea star, as opposed to some of the other alternatives such as a catalyst, a metal catalyst. Uh, this one it's, it can be ran at very moderate temperatures, which uh, reduces your uh, energy factor. But also some of the main considerations we need to will be considered is that our design uh, rate limiting step will be the mass transfer. So uh, some of the variables that need to be taken consideration is our agitation speed that will require high agitation speed uh, uh, and more energy requirement. And then of course the gas flow rate, which uh, in the culture uh, inside the liquid bioreactor, are going to have to calculate those. Next, I'm going to take a uh, for our pre-trained modeling, we basically broke our process down into four different parts. Uh, I took over the pre-treatment process. Uh, Bradley took over the gasification and fermentation process, which he just went over. And Joshua took over the distillation process to give our pure ethanol. Uh, for the pre-treatment process, basically we took the switchgrass, took it into a mill to chop it down, bring it into smaller uh, sizes. Uh, ran water through a mixer to basically help wash out the uh, ligand, pro ligand that's in the switchgrass. Uh, took it through a divider where you have purely switchgrass going into a pre-treatment reactor, uh, water going into a pump, and the water and mixed switchgrass uh, going into a washer. Uh, the water going into a pump goes through heat exchangers to produce steam into the pre-treatment reactor along with the uh, switchgrass cellulose. Uh, the high steam breaks down the switchgrass into sugar products and from there the cellulose from the pre-treatment reactor goes into the washer along with the water and mixed switchgrass which is then washed and then washed goes into a dryer and it gives you your dry mass product and uh, the water going into the pump gives you your steam these two outputs go into uh, Bradley's process, which is the gasification and fermentation process, where you have your dry mass feed and your steam going into a mixer, which then goes into a fluidized bed reactor, and from there it goes into the fermentator, which gives you your ethanol sludge. And from your ethanol sludge, it then goes into Joshua's process, which is distillation process, which goes into a mixer, which is mixed with, I believe, water and ethanol, which is, goes into one distillation column, which gives you uh, okay. 95% ethanol. Goes into a mixer, which gives you your Then goes to another distillation column, which gives you a pure ethanol. Sorry about that. And in conclusion, we, uh, to sum it all up, use the decision matrix to determine what was best for our process, determine switchgrass, which is going to be our feed, to give us our pure ethanol, and also use supercritical steam in order to have our process going. We have started our Kenkai models, which are not uh, really fully complete yet. Uh, we still have some work to do on that. Uh, we also need to finish determining some of our flow rate, temperatures, and compositions going into certain streams for our process. We also need to finish optimization, economic analysis, and equipment design for our project. So, that's it.